You ever feel frustrated when a show wraps up before the long summer hiatus and leaves things unresolved? Hey, it's just a season finale. You'll get closure when that show returns in the fall, but then there are some long-running TV shows that ended a season on their cliffhanger and then got cancelled. Here are some shows where audiences never got to find out what happened. Mork and Mindy Elevated by the staggering comic gifts of Robin Williams, this show's fourth season run came to an end in a truly weird fashion. An evil alien named Kelnick tries to kill Mork and Mindy, but they escape using a pair of magical time-traveling shoes. But oops, they're damaged, and the pair go too far back in time. The last image, a cave painting of Mork and Mindy. Did they ever get back to the future? We'll never know because the show got cancelled. Sliders On the final installment of Sliders, a show featuring a cast of dimension-hopping characters, a psychic tells the crew that if they slide through space and time just once more, they'll die. However, they find a loophole. If one of them slides but also injects themselves with a special tonic, they'll be okay. The character Rembrandt does it and slides on through. Does he live? Does he die? The psychic could tell the others, but while fighting off the team's enemies, she dies. Freaks and Geeks Freaks and Geeks made stars out of the cast members like James Franco and Seth Rogen. But when this show aired in 1999, it finished near the bottom of the ratings. NBC cancelled it before all 18 episodes were broadcast. One of the season's story arcs followed Lindsay Weir and her struggles with whether or not to remain a hard-working, school-first good girl. She ultimately ditches an academic summit to go to a Grateful Dead concert. At the end, Lindsay hops in a van and it drives away, and we never know if Lindsay made it there or back. My name is Earl. This sitcom followed around an amiable dirtbag named Earl, played by Jason Lee, who wins the lottery and spends his life making amends for all the bad things he's done. Despite being a big hit for NBC, it was abruptly cancelled at the end of season 4 in 2009. The last scene drops a bombshell. Earl's actually the father of his ex-wife's baby, and she's about to explain. But the episode and series ends with a to-be-continued graphic. NBC. That's for cancelling my name is Earl! Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman. Each decade gets the Superman it deserves. Sad, post-Watergate 70s America got happy, positive Christopher Reeve. And superficial Melrose Place loving 90s America got this soapy super show starring Dean Cain and Terry Hatcher. Season 4 ended with a super seeming baby left on Lois and Clark's doorstep. Was it from Krypton like Superman? Who knows? ABC decided a fifth season wasn't such a super idea. Angel Toward the end of its run, Angel and his gang take on an evil law firm of Wolfram and Hart. The final scene of season 5 shows the protagonists preparing to storm their enemies. The show's creative team didn't intend for this to be the ending, but they learned too late that they weren't getting renewed, so they ended the show on a cliffhanger. But creator Joss Whedon is okay with that. Satisfied, it suggests the fight against evil never truly ends. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know which cliffhanger frustrated you most.